You know, many people have said that the book of Romans is a complete gospel. It tells the way of salvation, and it tells about ways that do not lead to salvation or redemption in Christ. In Romans 3.23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's you out there, every one of you. That's me. We've all sinned. We cannot redeem ourselves. We cannot just say, well, I will die for my own sins. It can't work that way. Only one who has lived a perfect life could ever die for my sins or for your sins. But thank God there's one who did. The Lord Jesus Christ. God sent him because he loved the world. And Jesus lived on this earth as a man and as God for about 33 years, never once committing sin. Then he went to that cross and suffered. We think the, the sufferings were physical. They were horribly physical. But worse was the sins of the world was upon him. He bore the sins of everyone all on that cross. And he did it because he loved you out there so much. And he loved me in here so much. Now in Romans 6, 23, the first part says, The wages of sin is death. That is, wages are something that's due to you. You've earned it. If you want to call it that way, you've earned death by your continual sinning and never turning away to follow God. But, in the middle of that verse is, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Remember, gift, G-I-F-T, not something you earn, it's totally upon Christ. And we just accept that gift, accept Him, and we become part of the redeemed. It's a gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, what a gift. Nobody ever offered such a gift. There was never available such a gift in this whole world. But that gift right there is life through eternal in Jesus Christ. Do you know him today? Have you received that gift? Have you ignored that gift? Have you paid no attention to that gift? It's time you stopped and paid attention to this tremendous gift that my Lord, the Almighty God, who loves you, is offering for you right now. Now also Romans 5, 8 says, but God commends his love toward us. He does that in so many ways, but here, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While I was still in my sins, not thinking of him at all, he died for me. As the song says, when he was on the cross, I was on his mind. This blessed Lord came at the bidding of the Father who loved us, and this Jesus who loved us. And while we're still sinning, he died for us. What tremendous love that is. Paul said, maybe for a good man, somebody might die. But we weren't good men or good women. We were evil. We were living our own lustful life, doing our own pleasure. And bless his heart, Jesus came and he died for me. And you know that broke my heart. It still breaks my heart. I'm rendered sometimes to tears when I hear wonderful music about worthy is the lamb that was slain. He was slain for me. Did I deserve that? No, I deserve death. But he loved me so much. See, I'm very special in God's sight. But I want you to know, I'm no more special than you are. It's just that most of you out there don't know how special you are to God. Now, we all know John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave. The next verse, John 3.17, For God did not send his Son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be him, saved through him. He didn't condemn it. 
He came to save us in the world. He wanted the world saved. God says, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked. I came to save the world. Right now out there, I urge you, please, accept this blessed Jesus that died for you, that loves you so much. Accept him now and enter into the joy of the Lord. In his holy name I pray. Amen and amen. May you know him and you may know his joy because it's joyful to know Jesus. Give yourself to him right now.